so the whole experience itself I thought was amazing, thoroughly enjoyed it. I would highly recommend if you're thinking about doing it, just go for it. There were people of all different ages, all different fitness abilities. Um, you really can do it. The training is hard, so you know you just do have to be a little bit prepared for that, and it probably does pay dividends to actually get yourself involved in a bit of training before you start because it is pretty brutal in terms of the training. But I would say that there's, there's nothing that should hold you back if you want to do it, if you want to experience what it's like, and that's what it was for me. It's just the experience of stepping into a ring. You know, I was never gonna take up boxing as a you know as a sport it was purely to, to see what it was like to step through the ropes and to just get stuck in and get involved um, and for that I thought it was a thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable experience so in terms of what happens with the, the whole experience itself you sign up on Facebook um, and then you basically get sent um, loads of stuff email wise it's really really simple to do really really easy to do and then you basically go along to a welcome meeting where everyone goes or you know loads of people go to the welcome meeting and then from there you're given a couple of packs you basically have to sell and from the event that i did i did ultra white collar boxing and you basically have to sell 10 tickets so 10 um, tape uh, to tickets all together to uh, make sure that you can fight on the night um, and then you have to raise i think it's 50 pounds for charity for cancer research so it's not massively hard to do. I think most people, you know, can can do that. Um, you do have to do that within the first few weeks, but it's it's not. I didn't find that that stressful. I had you know a few people that wanted to come ended up sending so like twenty tickets. Um, so that was absolutely fine. Um, you you know everyone will sell different amounts, but as long as you sell the minimum, then you're good to go. And then basically training starts. It's an eight week long training um, sort of cycle. Um, where you have, uh, we did Wednesdays and Fridays, but it's two a week essentially um, at a local boxing gym. All the trainers were, were fantastic, uh, but they were really, really good. And the facilities at the gym, we were in Renegade Gym in Stevenage was awesome as well. So I like thoroughly enjoyed being there. It was really, really fantastic. Then the, um, in terms of the, the what those sessions consist of, so the first four sessions you do, so the first two weeks, is purely fitness so they do interval training they do body weight training it's just basically a lot of fitness stuff and then from there they start to bring in the boxing skills and you then will do sparring etc as you go through the weeks I think sparring starts about week three week four um, there was a lot of drop-offs so there's a lot of drop-offs after the first few fitness sessions I think a lot of people realized that it was gonna be quite hard I think we had like 150 people in our Facebook group and it ended up with 44 or something, yeah, I think we had 21 fights, so 42 people actually end up doing the event from 140, 150. Um, so you do get a lot of dropouts, you get dropouts with injury, etc. But um, you can tell the people that have been there more often are the people that tend to get there all the way to the end. You don't have to make every session, so it doesn't matter if you can't make every single session. You have to make a minimum requirement, I think it's like 50, 60% of, of sessions you have to make it to because they want to make sure that you are capable and also they want to make sure they can match you up against someone who's an equivalent uh, weight and standard as well is the, is the important thing. So with the uh, so you do the training and then you get matched up. So the matchups work on weight and also then ability and fitness levels. So they look at you obviously in the classes, they do, they look at your, they take a weight, so you do like a weigh-in. Uh, I weigh in at 75 kilos. And then you then from there get matched up against someone who's around your weight. It might not be exactly the same, but it's pretty much similar. I think the guy I thought was actually 77, and I think on the night it was actually 77 kilos as well. So we were pretty much much for the muchness. Um, it will be someone you've likely sparred. I think I'd sparred um, Darren the guy I fought once in the eight weeks. Um, but some people you've sparred a lot more. So it can be people you've sparred a lot, or it can be someone that you haven't sparred uh, particularly much at all. Um, the actual night itself was brilliant. So we went to it was at, uh, mine was at the leisure centre near where I live. Like the way they do it out, um, the whole event I thought was really really well done. You have medicals before you do the fights to make sure that you're fit to do it. Uh, you have a medical straight away after the fight. Um, and so I guess that brings us on to the fight itself. So the fight itself was uh, <laughs> was was good. It was. Unbelievably tiring. I think you don't realise when you're doing the training just how hard it's going to be doing three, two minute rounds. I mean, it sounds like nothing, and I think people are probably watching from the outside 
of the ropes are like, oh yeah, I can do that, it's fine. But when you do it yourself, it is literally absolutely brutal, but very enjoyable. In the first round, everyone says don't go up too hard, everyone ends up doing that. You can see in the video, in the clips in the second, that um, I do the same thing and go out pretty hard in the first. The other thing that I thought was interesting and funny was when I watched the video back of, on YouTube of me, uh, of me fighting, I just thought, you know, when you compare how you look to how like professionals or good bo good fighters, good boxers look, it's just ridiculous, really. Like, you just look so amateurish, and you know, most other people do. So it really is more about that experience. Obviously, some people do go into it and then end up, you know, younger guys will go into it, do a white collar, see what, if they like it, and then they'll go on to do maybe semi-professional, or even some people go on into the professional ranks. So it can be done, but. Um, for older older guys like me, it was purely for the for the crack and for the experience, and and you know I got you know all of that out of it. So I think um, I won't say too much about the fight. I'll put a highlights reel together. I've done some commentary over the top. Um, so let's crack into the fight, and then I'll come back after with my final thoughts. Okay, so here we go. Um, first round, absolutely hectic. Both going hell for leather. You can see in this clip. Pretty much, pretty much just adrenaline's firing. Didn't really know what was going on, completely new surrounding. A nice little jab there. My jab worked quite well in the whole fight, but that was basically the end of round one. A oh, little left, right from me there. And throughout the whole night, I tended to um, try and draw him in and then do the left, right. You can see there again, he's following me and then catching the decent right hand. I think in the next clip, again, left right hand, pretty much all night. I didn't really do much hooking, uppercuts. It was pretty much left right, straight down the pipe all day long. Pretty even in round one, but round two and three, I think I pretty much dominated. Again, he's coming in there, caught him with the right hand. This is round three now, so we're into round three. Again, left, right, pretty hectic again in the, in the third round. Both of us, um, you know, the first round was quite marginal, second round I definitely won, so third round it was all in it. Little left, right hand there around the corner. Again, came in there, caught him with another right hand. A lot of the times he was coming in, I was catching him with that left, right hand, and he was on the back foot there. And then finally, little uppercut, little right hand, sort of, sort of small little hook, same as the canvas. But this stage, the nose is bleeding quite a lot, so they went to the corner to sort that out. And so I was pretty confident at this point that I had it in the bag. Just needed to keep performing the way I'd been in the second and third round, caught him again there with another right hand. Again, another right hand, just trying to put those left rights together really, and then just backing him up. Should have maybe gone in a bit more for the kill. Again, right hand, and that was a real good right hand there. And the ref actually steps in now, and gives a standing count. So at this point, again, pretty excited. Kind of knew I had it in the bag. It was right towards the end of the third round. This, and then the bell goes. Great experience. Loved every second of it unbelievably tiring but very pleased to get the win and um, yeah happy days okay so as you can see loving it and um, got the win and loads of people were asking me um you know do we want to do another one and i kind of don't feel like i want to now like i feel like i've done it i enjoyed it i experienced it um but there's, I feel like I've got the full experience. My friends were, friends and family were all there right by the ringside. Um, shout out to my wife Kate who had to put up with me training for eight weeks and you know spend three, four, five nights sometimes out of the house doing boxing training. So thank you to her. Um, but they were all there. Um, meant a lot to have my mates and friends all travel up from London and other places. So um, that was fantastic. We went out afterwards as well. Um, had a few beers. I hadn't drank in eight ten weeks so that was brilliant as well um and so yeah the, the experience for me was great and i didn't really feel i think if i'd lost i may have felt like i would want to do another one just to get that full experience i didn't feel like i felt like it was a full experience having one i felt like i performed as well as i could have performed so i was really happy with that and ultimately it was an awesome experience so i think i would sum it up with 
Um, it's an amazing experience to get fit. So if you want to get fit, it's incredible. Like the cardiovascular fitness had never been better. Um, it's good to meet other people. There's some good good guys I met while I was there. Um, so that was really, really good. Good community feel. Like it's a really good community feel when you train. Um, you can do extra training if you want to as well. Um, the actual fight itself was, was an awesome experience. I think, I don't know what it would have been like if I'd lost. I honestly don't. I, I'm, a, I'm a competitive person and I think it probably would have affected me uh, if I'd lost. I still think it was an amazing experience throughout and all I could have done was done my best and, and obviously who you get matched up with is you know, a factor in that as well. But um, So I don't know. I don't know what it would have been like with the loss. Luckily I didn't. So, But I still think regardless of win or lose, it's an unbelievable experience. And um, for all the reasons I mentioned, having all your friends and family there, it's, so, it's a great thing for charity as well. So brilliant to, to you know, have that charity element. And, and have that as part of it. So all in all, awesome experience, pushed me outside my comfort zone, pushed me outside of what I was currently, um, you know, thought I was capable of doing um, from a fitness point of view and also mentally as well with the, with the boxing side of things. I really enjoyed sparring, so I enjoyed sparring. Um, quite liking not at the moment getting punched in the face and I actually put on some weight again, so I've been back in, the, in the, my garage gym here, um, doing more weights and stuff like that. So. Um, there's going to be plenty more videos to come on, on fitness stuff on the channel, but yeah, in terms of the white collar, that's it for these video, the video series I've been doing, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. Any questions from anyone about the experience, if you're thinking about doing it and you want to leave any comments or, or questions you had about the experience, then give me a shout, I'm more than happy to help or give you any pointers along the way, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.